Okay. Um, just to, um, to talk very quickly about pensions. The pension reform bill that we passed, uh, what is it, 10 days ago now or two, two weeks ago, uh, was aimed at abuses. It was aimed at abuses of the system, particularly abuses that benefit legislators and other elected officials. Over the years, there were a half a dozen of features of the pension system that, and we can call them abuses, I mean, that's a harsh word, but just things that it, it, at some point it evolved for reasons that goodness knows why they were put in place decades ago. But if you look at them now, they just don't feel right. Like if you served into, you know, if I served to January 2nd of, of 2010, I get a full year's credit of 2010 towards my, my pension. Uh, you know, you should, but, but half a dozen things like that that just don't quite make sense, don't quite feel right. So that's what that bill was about. There's a whole lot more work to do about the pension system because the, the way things work right now still leave the ability for things that don't really sound right. In other words, for example, I, could, I as a legislator could complete a career you know, of 25 years in the legislature making $60,000 a year, and then for three years I could become you know, deputy commissioner of agriculture at $120,000 a year, and I could go out at a pension based on those, on, that, on those last three years of my earnings, which would then mean that you know, I hadn't been contributing to the pension system because I'd only been contributing based on my lower salary. And so that problem of the relationship between what you get out of the pension system and what you put into the system, keeping that fair and consistent, I think is something we have to, uh, it, that's a big issue. That's a deep issue. It's not just a narrow targeted abuse issue. It's a major reform type issue. And that's on the table for uh, continuing discussion in the, pension, um, in the pension reform committee that's been established by the legislature and that we're working on now. Uh, and so I expect that over the fall and into the next spring we'll have a continuing conversation about pensions. What is it today? What is the amount of it today? <clears throat> It's what percent of what you make and you get for a pension? Well, it's, it's a complicated system that's based on how many years you, you've been in service. But if you, you, the more years you are in service, the more, you, have, you don't get anything until you've been in service for 10 years. And then from, you know, as you work from 10 years up to 30 something years, depending on what kind of employee you are, you, you uh, can work your way up to a pension that equals 80% of the average of your three highest years. After how many years? That would be after 30 or 32 years, if you are a with age, if, if, with, with, and, and you have to achieve a certain level of age as well. So if I'm a if I'm a white collar worker, which I am, you know, a desk job, that's my regime. If I was in a, a job that involved more physical exposure, like a police officer, I have a shorter track. You know, it's whatever it is, 20 something years, and retire earlier. Instead of 65 and 30 years, it's 25 and it's 55 and 20 20 years, it's chief. I'd nail it for me. 32 and 55 is the magic number. To get to full 80%. 32 years. For police? 80, thank you. Okay, thank you. For your 80%. So you said it's the age that changes, but not the years of service to get to the full 80%. So those are different groups that have, that have slightly different rules.